In this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up your site in a way that instead of 55%, you'll get 95 or instead of 71, you'll get 93. It's going to take only a couple of minutes. So if you're interested, then jump in. I have a website here and this website has a WooCommerce shop, bunch of images, galleries, blog, events calendar and so on. A minute ago I tested it with the GT metrics and the performance score is 71 and the fully loading time is 4.3 seconds. Google PageSpeed gives me a performance score of 55 for mobile and for desktop it's also 55. If I open up my browser, refresh the page and use the performance analyzer Chrome extension it says that the loading time is approximately 1.4 seconds and 83 requests so let's see how to speed it up but probably now you want to ask why the page speed is important it's important to users because well and faster pages are more efficient and provide uh, better user experience and it also affects your seo rankings google itself has declared it one more thing Kissmetrics has done a research and they say that if a page takes longer than three seconds to load then over a quarter of users will click away and choose a different search result this increases your site bounce rate and once again it's not good for your SEO. And the plugin I'm going to use today is called Nitro Pack, the one you see on the screen right now. It's a complete speed optimization software as a service solution and it allows you to take care of your website speed with a couple of clicks. It provides you all performance optimization features like caching, full image optimization, CSS and so on. I'm going to talk about it later. And in case you haven't heard anything about the Nitro Pack, then take a look at the Trustpilot. There are approximately 600 reviews and the average rating is 4.9, which is excellent. If you scroll down, then you can read the reviews. It has integrations with WordPress, WooCommerce, OpenCart, Magenta and custom websites. It has a free version for 5000 page views per month, but there are also other plans, for example, business plan growth scale and so on you can choose whether to pay monthly or yearly and if you scroll down you'll see that all plans include all-in-one automated performance optimization lossless image optimization critical css advanced page caching and so on these here are official prices but if you take a look at the description of this video then there is a nice five percent discount coupon for you just follow the link and use the coupon and you're good to go Today I'm going to use a business plan, this one here, and I'm going to show you how to set it up. I'm going to go to my site, it's a WordPress site, go to the plugins, add new, and search for Nitro Pack. This one here, just install it and activate it. Now go to the Nitro Pack settings, it's under the settings menu over here. Click on connect to Nitro Pack, it opens up a pop-up, since I'm already logged into the Nitro Pack, I don't need to do it once again. Now I'm going to click on add and done. Next you'll see what is happening here and you can choose optimization mode. Standard, medium, strong, ludicrous and manual. And I suggest you to leave it as it is for now. Later if all is set up, test your site and if you see that something is wrong, then change optimization mode or use manual. But once again, use manual only if you know what you're doing. First things I would suggest you to do is set up the cache warm-up. It says that currently it has 88 pages. Would I like to continue? Yes. It enables it. And now the cache warm-up will start caching my pages. If you would like to activate the test mode, do it here. HTML compression here. And e-commerce card cache. I'm going to activate also this one here. Automated behavior, whether to purge cache when the content is updated or published, that is, if I update post or page or product, whether the cache is cleared. Yes, I'm going to leave it as it is. Otherwise, if I change something on my pages, save it, the cache will not be cleared and users will not see the changes. If you would like to enable or disable the post types, you would like to use caching or disable it, then you can do it here. Just deactivate it or activate it as you like. There is a help button, diagnostics button. And if you go to the post or pages, for example, I'm going to open up pages. This one here. Now you'll see two buttons. 
invalidate cache and purge cache. If you change something on this page and you'll see that for some reason the cache is not clear, then you can do it here. There is a Nitro Pack menu also up here. You can open up the settings or purge the entire cache. Those are the minimalistic settings here, but if you log into your dashboard on the Nitro Pack site, then you can configure all sorts of stuff here. Let's take a look. If I open up the cache insights, I'll see the status, cache size, warm up, optimization status, and so on. Under the analytics, you'll see the resource usage. Under the settings, since I have Ludicrous activated, there are a bunch of options. General caching, fonts, images, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. There are pre-selected options. You can deactivate and activate the ones you would like to configure. If you would like to adjust page cache expiration time, you can do it here. Just open or close it. This is by default one month. If you would like it to be shorter, then add the correct value here. What does it mean? After one month, automatically all the cache is cleared and recached. Now, a couple of things for you to point out. First is JavaScript minification. What I have noticed that usually if there are some plugins that doesn't work well with the JavaScript minification, for example, if you activate this one here, you may end up with a broken site. Therefore, if you do that, then always check your site whether it's good or not. I'm going to save it for a second and I'm going to test my site. That is, I'm going to open it up in a private view. And it seems that for my site, everything works well. Nothing happened here. And let's see what the performance analyzer displays. It says that now the loading time is 0.6 seconds, basically 50% faster it was before. And then there are 40 requests. As you remember, there was 88 requests before we optimized this site. So much faster already. You have browsed my site. Everything seems to be working well. Let's open the shop and products, add something to the cart. So yeah, it doesn't seem that it broke something for my site, but be careful with the JavaScript minification and CSS minification. If something breaks for your site, then change the settings accordingly. As you saw, since I already activated this option here, and now optimization mode is custom, not ludicrous anymore. Okay, nothing else for me to configure here. If you're not a tech-savvy person, then choose one of those optimization modes and you're good to go. If you know what you're doing, choose a custom one here. And let's see how does my site perform now after the optimizations. First, I'm going to test it with a GT matrix and at the same time with a page speed. So let's analyze it. Just as a reminder, before the performance score for mobile was 55, and first Contentful Paint was 12 seconds, largest Contentful Paint was 21 seconds. This was for the mobile and for the desktop performance 55, first Contentful Paint 10.3, largest Contentful Paint 17.2 seconds. Now the score for mobile is 80, first Contentful Paint 3.4, and largest Contentful Paint 3.8 seconds. And for the desktop it's now 95, first Contentful Paint 0.9 and largest contentful paint 1.4 seconds. Awesome. Here are the results from the GT metrics. Performance 71% and structure 91. Largest contentful paint 2.6 seconds. And now it's performance 93. Largest contentful paint 1.4 seconds. And it's already much faster. There was nothing complicated to it. I just needed to install a plugin and select some options. Now there is a thing I would like you to point out though. Take these numbers here with a grain of salt because Google somewhere over there thinks this score means something but for the regular user this doesn't mean anything. For the regular user the only thing that matters is how fast your site opens up. This site opens in a less than a second which is really good. If I browse then everything opens fast and this is the most important thing not some random performance number here. There is one more thing I would like to talk about before we wrap it up. Take a look at this help menu up here. You can contact the support, open up the knowledge base, or take a look at the system status. You can also contact the support 
by opening the chat box over here. But if you open up the knowledge base, then most likely all of your questions will be answered. If you're using WordPress, then open this one. Take a look, all the details should be answered here. I have used the support a couple of times and they have been really responsive and fast, so it's a good thing. So to sum it up, as you saw, NitroPack is a plugin that allows you to speed up your site, nothing complicated to it, just install, connect your site, choose the correct optimization mode, if you don't know what to do, then just choose Ludicrous, test your site and see whether everything works, and you're good to go. One other thing, it's nice to have a good optimization plugin, but you also need a good web hosting. I have made a video about the web hosting I'm using. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to check it out. In the meantime, take care.